Okay, in my previous tutorial, I was, you know, just exposing two web, web method API. One was, you know, for example, a customer control API. I had two methods, get customer by ID and get customer by name. And this method, starting with line number 39, is returning I innumerable of customer based on the source criteria and name. So, you know, I already explained the how it works, but it's very basically very, very, very simple. I'm just basically looking whether the, you know, the character, either first name or last name, is start with the source character. For example, source character is C, I'm looking whether any consumer exists in my system whose first name either is start with C or last name either is start with C. Very simple. Um, here is a customer was not found. Was okay not found so this time what I'm going to do is that I will be consuming these two web this web method get customer by name from the plain HTML code not ASP.NET code not all of those things not Ajax whatever well I'll be using Ajax but you know using jQuery so I will have basically what I did right here I have a HTML folder and inside that I, I created a search consumer HTML, plain HTML page, nothing is there just you know uh, HTML5 page and let me hide this JavaScript right now for just show you the well let me just put the header right here let me show you the markup is very simple uh, markup is nothing there I have a table with the first name and the text box where a user will enter the name of the consumer let's say they would like to search for and the submit button just the button right here this this markup is not even inside the form and then after a line break I have the UL tag this is where I will be collecting all the results that will be coming out from my search okay that is that is the HTML part which is very very simple nothing is there now I'm gonna explain to you in detail how it really works from the jQuery okay um, this is not really a tutorial about jQuery but I will I'm gonna explain basic things I will be um, creating more videos about jQuery later so the idea is very simple basically I'm saying on line number line number nine that I'm saying okay hey when the page is loaded I want I want you to fire I, I want you to execute this anonymous function right here we start from right here and goes all the way up to right here okay cool and inside this method I have a I have a you know input but call button with the ID BT and submit button submit and I'm gonna apply a click event to it cool and when the click events gets applied I would like to execute the code inside that block and because remember like I have the text box because I need to capture whatever user enters into that text box I'm gonna ask jQuery hey can you find this DOM element and give the value store on that one Enter by user, okay, cool. Remember, I, I don't have any validation yet. Um, the ideal solution would be, uh, I'm going to say, something like this. If input value is null or null or input value equals equals to undefined. Or I don't know, maybe input value equals to equals to empty string. Then I'm gonna say please enter just the echo. Just echo I'm gonna say alright please please enter your search. Please enter consumer name or something, you know that's I'm gonna and then just return um, from here or maybe uh, okay return from here and all this code is otherwise else that closes there this guy closes right there so this goes in right else Oh no, just she. Oh, 
right there so this guy comes right here this is the else part okay now the code is pretty simple so okay if it's, if you know there is no input if this guy is not defined I, I, I don't you I don't want I, mean, I don't want you to go into my you know hit my API with the empty uh, empty string which I have to do server side validation also but okay, so I haven't done anyway let's say user enter something and then what I do I have this this is a little um, this I need to do a refactoring for this one but just for, just for the demo purpose this is okay and then this is my URL remember like how this is how I go into the API it's an API and customer and this is the name I pass as a query string and this is the input value which is coming out from right here from the text box and I call JSON object here I, I call um, this is kind of like a static method dollar get JSON it expect it for a couple of things it expect me to pass the URL and the data since I'm passing the data in the query string so I don't have to pass anything here and the callback function or announce function right here so when the server sends out the response the, the response would be contained will be containing on this object called status this is a little misnomer I, I don't I don't like this name but uh, I wish JavaScript would do something like C or other legs like refactor I, I would I would change name later but anyway so I'm saying when the I know I'm gonna basically say okay when the results come out from the server I'm gonna say hey is, is that is undefined if, I, if that's the object undefined or if the type of object if it's not undefined means it's defined right okay if that is the case then I'm gonna say all right then I'm gonna go over I I should have done one more check though because I'm assuming it can be some sort of my enumerable array I'm gonna say each for each of those you know like invoke this anonymous function it takes two parameters the index and then a the customer the index is just like one two three zero whatever zero one two three and this customer is basically let's say it returns a JSON object array object so I have individual object and customer and I pull out the ID excuse me first name and last name first name and last name from the current consumer and then basically I, I generate this you know like concatenated um, HTML which this is a bad idea I have done a different way but anyway I can do using I can I could have done this by using the append to jQuery a function but I didn't do it anyway once I come out from this loop and if the value of result is not changed you know like then I, I don't want to do anything if it is changed means like there are data coming out in from my search I'm gonna put that data as into my you know a container my container is basically UL yeah that in the so let's see now go ahead and run it okay here is my little and let's say I want to search by a J. It returned John Smith, Johnny Barrow, Jolie. And let's say I just would draw it. Yeah, just two of them. Let's say you say anybody by a starting name. A. That's. Yeah, Amanda. Yeah, please enter consumer name. That's good. So is there anybody who is SA now? Okay. P A R I know there is a consumer with last name part of. Okay, there is one little oh see this I have to it didn't clear the first one. There's a little bug in the application. Let's say if I do a search again, it's already found it, right? Let's say um G O John. Hey. Why the two result? Amanda. Oh, okay, yeah. There's two Paro, John Paro and Amanda. Paro. No, it's working. It's working fine. Anyway, this you know, like this in this tutorial, basically, once you have your web API in the server side, is set, it's done.